Hey guys, um, I've been asked recently, could I do a, a review of the Nespresso Creatista Pro coffee machine review, but one year on? Um, because we've had this machine for a while now. If you've followed our channel for a long time, you'll know that we've actually first looked at this machine around 18 months ago. But we did have a replacement sent to us, and I'll explain why in a minute. Um, but it's a lot of money to spend on a machine. It's £679 now here in the UK. Um, it's obviously available in other countries as well. Um, but if this is the first time you've looked at this machine on a review, you might want to know some specifications. So I'll just quickly run through those and then I'll tell you about our experience with this machine over the past 18 months or this specific one a year ago, when we got it a year ago. So a few features then, as we said, it's £679. One of the major benefits of the machine in the UK it may not be the same in your country, do check with Nespresso, but in the UK, it can brew coffee and steam milk at the same time. So that means if you're steaming the milk and you're making a cappuccino, you can add a second shot into your coffee while the machine is still doing the milk, which is a very big benefit. It speeds the process up of making a coffee. So that's one of its major selling points. It says you can make a ca two cappuccinos because you may add that shot into the same coffee or you may make two cappuccinos by brewing two shots so it says you can do that in under a minute uh, we tried that on the channel in the past uh, we managed to do it in 75 seconds i think it was but we had the milk temperature up a little bit so it, may, it should be possible to do it in under a minute um, you can get nine different coffees if we look on top now we can see it's got a touch screen on it which is quite a nice feature um, there's nine different options on there and uh, we have if we scroll up and down we've got the ristretto espresso lungo long black but on the box it actually says americano but it's long black uh, flat white cappuccino cafe latte latte macchiato you can also just do hot milk on its own and another big feature with this machine which is different to the others that nespresso do is that you can actually add your own coffee recipes as well so we've got we added loads here we had a little uh cool one time because somebody asked me how many can you add and um, so we went and we just started adding them and then we got bored um, and just started using letters just to see how many we could add i mean i try to remember how we did how many we did i think it was about well we got to at least 20 i think and so you can start you can make your own little recipes up and then add them so you could just press the button in the morning and make this coffee that you like um, but that screen's pretty nice isn't it a nice touch screen and it does make it pleasurable to use i've got to say um, so we've got those coffee options, uh, uh, there's adjustable frothing levels and adjustable temperature settings as well. So we've got eight texture levels, so just to show you that if we have a look on top. So on a cappuccino, if I wanted to do a cappuccino, uh, but I wanted to change either the amount of coffee, you can do that there, that it brews, or you can do the milk and temperature. So we've got milk froth, you can put it up and down as to how frothy you like your milk. Um, and we've got temperature settings from ideal to hot or to a low setting. Um, and we've been asked in the past, is there really much of a difference in these? You know, with the froth, does it make a difference or is it all just for show? Or is it just a, a selling feature that's not really, doesn't make that much difference? The froth's the same anyway most of the time. We found it does make a difference, a massive difference actually. Um, and also the temperature, when you turn it up, it gets really, really hot. It really does. Um, and as you bring it lower, you do notice a massive difference. So I can fully say that those features, they do work. Uh, we also have, obviously, with the touchscreen, the benefit of that is when it comes to descaling or recipe preparation, as we can see, again, if you were looking at the cappuccino, it, it sort of walks you through step by step as to what you've got to do, when to put the milk under, when to brew the coffee. It has a hot water button. Um, and that comes out of a separate jet as well, so it never mixes with the coffee. That's another good benefit of it. Um, the touchscreen has all these different operations. Look, it shows you how to descale it. Um, it shows you uh, how to rinse the steam wand, how to clean the steam wand. And when you're using the little pin from the back, um, it also guides you through very clearly um, how to do it. Like if we just put 10 minutes, it's going to take, you need a clean damp cloth, uh, your milk jug. When it comes to cleaning, the steam one purges itself, so it's self-cleaning in that sense, but you do have to wipe it down um, to clean it. But it's not a difficult process. I've got to say it's quicker than any other Nespresso machine I've owned. 
uh, you just literally wipe the steam wand off at the end. I'll link to a video now where we showed you how to, how to use the steam wand, um, but it is very simple, very quick, and you can make two or three coffees very fast using that. Uh, the machine is 19 bar pressure. It has a quick heat up time of three seconds, which is drastically improved on a lot of other Nespresso machines. Um, the weight of the machine is a heavy machine because as we see, it's big, it's 6.7 kilograms. And um, the dimensions, the width is 20 centimeters. The depth is 43 centimeters. And the height to this point is 33 centimeters. Uh, but if you lift the lid up, then it takes it to around 43 centimeters. The tank at the back, the water tank, that's two liters. It shuts itself off after nine minutes and the warranty on it is two years. So, our thoughts on the machine after using it for a year. Um, the touch screen, as I say, is absolutely brilliant to use. It makes it really nice process to use versus the dial system that we had on the Creatista Plus. So it is a big improvement. And um, the coating, the, when I said that we sent the machine back, uh, we had to get a replacement. What actually happened is we had a problem with the coating on the machine. Now we sent it back to Nespresso and they said we'll fix it and they were, they were really good um, and they were going to fix it for us but they couldn't actually get the part in time um, and we were left without a machine for a, a little period of time and in the end they said right we'll just send you a brand new machine and we'll sort the problem out later we'll keep yours and we'll deal with that and we'll just send you a new machine so that was really good and um, they sent that out because we were in the two-year warranty period there was no problems at all there by that time though I will say that the share drip tray at the bottom had started to mark quite a lot around here. Um, now, when I first started using the machine, I used to let the steam one purge into the bottom um, without catching it with any kind of cup or anything like that. And I do feel that that seemed to mark the coating a little bit around here. So now I, I, I make the effort to put a little cup under. And if we have a look down, there are, there is, there are still some marks on there because inevitably what happens is when you're using the steam wand, you lift it up, you pop this jug under, as you can see there, but it does catch it from time to time. Um, and we've got a few marks there, but when I wasn't catching the water that comes out with the steam wand, it seemed to mark it more. Um, so I think that that's well worth doing. And again, we showed that when we showed you how to use the Creatista Plus um, or Pro or Uno for that fact, steam wand, we, got a, we did a video on that. That was the exterior coating that we had a problem with. Um, since then, we, I invested in a microfiber cloth just to see if that made any difference. Um, but we, we weren't cleaning it roughly or anything. There were no problem with the way we were cleaning it. But for some reason, it developed a bit of a, an issue with the coating. Um, but I do recommend these cloths, the microfiber ones. I'll leave a link in the description as to where you can get those. Um, just because for touch screens, I didn't want to scratch it. These are extremely fine. They're built actually for mobile phones. Um, and I just use that to clean the coating now. Uh, all the machine really just to be a bit more delicate because I do what I do think could be better with the machine is the coating on the front here um it's quite if, if I just tap it now you'll hear that it's quite a plastic I'm not too keen on the material of it that's what I'm trying to say really um I do think that that could be a bit more hard wearing if we zoom in really close you'll see that it has scratched over time when I've cleaned it Maybe there's been a little bit of grit somehow has got in there um, or there might have been something on the cloth and it didn't take much to scratch it. Um, so I'm, that's why I'm so delicate now and that's why I use these cloths and that has made a difference. Um, but I, for a £679 machine, I would like it if that front bit could be a little bit more hard wearing. On the plus side, we've never had any real problems technically with the machine. The touch screen has always worked fine. Um, it, We've never had any problems with the steam wand. It's not really blocked up that much. I do get questioned a lot on in the comments on the channel, um, and it's come up recently actually, um, whether the steam wand breaks on them quite quickly, because apparently some people have experienced that with the Creatista Plus. Um, I've had a Plus, I've had a Pro. I didn't have the Plus for very long, but I didn't experience that problem. We've had this obviously for a year to 18 months now between the two machines. And the steam one's still going strong. I've not had any problems with that. Um, it does a good job of frothing the milk. It doesn't clog up too much. We, we get the alert to clean it sometimes. Um, and sometimes we just choose to do it ourselves. Um, but we, we've not really had any problems in that area. Um, when it comes to the used capsule holder, 
I think if we remember, this is just off the top of my head from previous videos. I think it held around 14 capsules, maybe 15 at a push. Um, which to us, we're a family of four, but we it's mainly me and my wife that use the machine. Um, and we do use it a lot. And we have a lot of double shots as well. When I have a latte, I tend to put two shots in. Um, so we use two pods. But it never annoys me with how fast it fills up. Um, it's the right size for the machine, for us both. Um, and when it when I come to having to clean it out and empty the um, used, used capsules out, I never feel like it's too soon. It just feels like the right amount of time. Um, the same with the water tank at the back, really. As we said, it's a two litre water tank. Again, we've never really had any problems with how often it runs out. Uh, they do use a lot of water because the steam one uses water and also it's brewing coffee. Um, so they, it does go through the water quicker than you might think but I've never got annoyed with how often I'm having to fill it up. And that's the benefit of having that nice big two litre tank. Um, I also really like the size of the machine. There's a plenty of room to work on it, to make a coffee, to play without squeezing everything in. Um, so I'm really happy with that. Um, so I, what, all I can say really is I've been very pleased with the purchase. I was fortunate enough. And there was, if you remember about a year, a year and a half ago, there was a raft of offers on Nespresso right around the time COVID started. Um, and I think we just got a little bit lucky really and got a good deal on it. We got it half price. Um, so would I, would I, do I think it's worth the money to replace it if it broke £679? Well, we discussed that at length in another video. Um, so I'll link to that above now or do search for that. It was called Creatista Pro, Is It Worth It? Um, do look for that video if you want that question answered. Um, it's a difficult question because it is a lot of money and it's a big jump from the, the price of the Creatista Plus to the Creatista Pro. Um, but yeah, it is a very, very good machine and we've been very happy with it. Um, do give the video a like if it's helped. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Don't forget to um, check out our Creatista playlist as well. We have a playlist with all our Creatista videos on there. Um, and bye for now.